Welcome back guys, hope we're all doing well. This is just going to be a quick video, it's not going to be too long. First off, I want to start it off by saying massive shout out to Craig. Thank you very much buddy. Um, he's kindly sent me a mug up. Um, in case you don't know Craig, his username is Scrag68 on, on, um, on YouTube. He ain't got a channel but he's got mugs and that's what I like. <laughs> so cheers Craig, thank you very much for that pal. Top boy, I'll get one out to you as soon as I get some more made up mate. Um, I'll put you on the list for one and we'll get one out to you mate um, Right, so as the title of this video guys So from my last video um, There were a few people that mentioned when I was on about me TDS and things like that. There were a few people that mentioned that salt levels um, and things like that um, bicarb can affect your TDS Which absolutely 100% it can now my pond although I did have pond in it um, during the season because I've been going through loads of water changes throughout the season and now we're in winter um, the salt level in the pond is virtually non-existent I think last time I checked it was about 0.04 or something like that um, percent so it's, it's not a great deal in it but what I'm going to do is I'm going to just run a quick test just so we can see how much salt level in water does affect us TDS um, and then you know we can see how much of that is affecting it and whether there's any other um, things in the water that's causing the TDS to go up you know such as hard metals and things like that and um, other dissolved uh, minerals materials whatever so I'm gonna run a quick test and to find out just exactly how much um, salt in water raises your TDS by so I've got a bucket down here and what I'm going to do is fill it with 5 litres of fresh water straight from the tap. I'm going to measure the TDS of that and I'm going to measure the salt level. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure the TDS um, of my pond which we know it anyway, we've got it there. It's currently at 500. Um, I'll check it in parts per million as well. And also the salt level of my pond. And then what I'm going to do is calculate how much salt we need to add to the bucket of water to bring it up to the same amount of salt level that's in my pond and then we'll take a TDS reading on it and see how much it's, how much that salt level has affected it. So I'm going to get straight into it. I'm going to get this bucket with some water in it. I've marked this is 5 litres, this is 10 litres. I'm only going to put 5 litres of water in it need to go crazy small scale um, very small scale um, compared to pond but um, it's still gonna give us you know the same readings um, salt in fresh water compared to pond water and then we'll adjust it to suit there's a little tool what I use um, online um, but I'll get into that as we're going along so I'm gonna get this bucket filled up and we'll get into it so we've just got this filling up now guys once it's at that 5 litre mark, I'm going to knock it off. Right. So that's it, 5 litres guys. 5 litres in that bucket. So, what I'm going to do now is... We'll take my salt meter. I'm going to measure the salinity in that fresh water, and I'm also going to take the probe out of my drum filter, um, and we'll measure the TDS of that fresh water in TDS and parts per million. So, if I just turn this on now, my salt meter. We'll turn it on. Right, that's on, so if I flip you guys around. Give a bit of wiggle waggle. The salt level in this fresh water is 0 0.01. Okay, so that's that. 
So 0 0.01 um, in the fresh water. Now if we go to the pond, and we'll do it again here. Zero point zero four. So, so to adjust the, that salt level to the same salt level that's in the pond, we need to raise it up by zero point zero three. So I'll keep that in mind. And now what I'm going to do is take that conductivity probe out of the drum filter. Um, and see what the TDS levels is in this fresh water. Um, last time we checked it on his last video, it was 150. Well, I'm also gonna check it in parts per million as well, um, just to give us another number to compare it to. Um, so we'll see where we are there. So I'll come back in a minute. Right, so we'll take this conductivity probe out of here, guys. And we'll drop that in there. So that's in there. And we'll wait for the blue lab to stabilize. So that fresh water we're getting a TDS of 160. Let's get a little bit of a swirl round just to. Yep, so TDS of 160, and we'll change the units of it to read it in parts per million as well. So that gives us. 220 parts per million so I put that back in the drum now we'll see what as water's at and um, it was last time I looked it were at 500 so I'll drop that back in there I'll change this back to TDS So again, we'll just let that stabilize. Five hundred. So now that we know them two values, um, what I'm going to do is. There's a little calculator what I use online um, from the Koifen forum. It's called the Koifen Calculator. I'll put it up on screen as I'm using it. Um, and what you do is you put the amount of water into the calculator. So in our case, it'd be five liters. You put in how much you want to alter your salinity level by. So in our case, we want to raise it from 0.01 to 0 0.04 so that's a difference of 0 0.03 um, and it should tell you how many grams of salt you need to put in that water to get it up to the same salinity level um, and if my um, if this is correct it tells us we need to add 1.5 grams of salt into this water into the bucket take it up to the same salinity level as the pond so we'll try that now we'll get it weighed out and then we'll take some more readings guys so I'll catch you in a minute all right I've got my scale set up guys I've got my salt at side on me um, so we don't need a lot so I'm only using a little 
little pooper scooper <laughs> um, and we're going to weigh out 1.5 grams of salt and see what gives us so for starters let's get them tonned on so we're set on grams we've zeroed and we're going to get in 1.5 grams not going to take much. The only thing with these scales is they ain't got a point on them so I'm just going to have to guesstimate it. Sorry if lighting's not very good. There's one. Oh, you bastard. I'll try again, guys. One. In a bit. That'll do. See what that gives us. It's not going to be miles out. Right then. So, this is going to go in his bucket and I'm going to get a mixing stick fact, I'll not use that, I use kids ruler and I'll get it mixed up Right, so that's as um, that's as salt in that bucket now, then, guys. Um, so, if I take me salinity meter again now, hopefully all being well, that salinity level should be at the same salinity as his pond, which were at 0 0.04. So. Here goes nothing. No, it's a 0.5. <laughs> I'll add a bit more water in, just to dilute it down a bit. Right, I've had to put a little bit more water in, guys. Just because me scales don't bleed in uh, measure too accurately. I couldn't get the decimal point to 1.5, so it ended up going over slightly, which has meant I've had to dilute it down a bit with a bit more water but apart from that nothing else has changed it's just the dilution level of the salt so um now that i've had to put a bit more water in because it went to 0.5 and um, it's now diluted it down to 0.4 and um, the amount of water in bucket don't change anything it has still been at 150 tds regardless of how much water were in there so um, yeah, that, that doesn't make any difference. So, what I'm going to do now is I'll spin around. So, the salinity level now, as you can see, is now at the same salinity level as the pond. So, if the conductivity probe was in the po in the pond now, um, at that salinity level, as TDS would be at uh, 500. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the conductivity probe back out. I'm going to put it in this water now, the fresh water with the um, additional salt, and we'll see what the difference is in the TDS reading between the initial 150 um, of the fresh water and now that we've put 0.03% of salt into it so we'll grab that we'll grab the probe we'll drop that into the bucket with the new salt level 
and we'll see where it's at. The reason I'm doing this is so myself personally can see and also so others can see um, as to what extent salt in his pond um, affects his TDS. Well, I'm going to spin this round now, guys, because this has surprised me massively. Um, I wouldn't have thought would he get these readings from that discrepancy of salt, but I'll spin round and we'll have a look what readings we're getting now, mate. And mate. <laughs> So as you can see guys, that's the probe in the fresh water that's had um, the additional salt put into it. Really, the only thing that is causing my pond personally um, to have such a high TDS reading is the fact that it's got 0.04% salt in it which like i say i wouldn't have thought that there'd have been such a big difference in tds readings between a 0.01 percent salt which is in fresh water and 0.04 percent um that's in my pond water i wouldn't i just wouldn't have thought that that discrepancy would have affected my tds readings that much clearly it has um, that's opened my eyes um, I dare say it may have opened a, a few other people's eyes, but um, yeah. So there you have it. So the only thing, like I say, the only thing affecting my readings isn't any additional, um, isn't any additional contaminants in my pond water. It's purely the um, salt level that's in the pond. So if I was to wipe my salt level down in my pond, um, down to the same as what's in tap water, if I just eradicated the salt out of my pond altogether, then my TDS would drop. Technically, on paper, it should drop right down to, you know, technically what's in my tap water, about 150 or something like that. Um, which ain't too bad at all I suppose so anyway guys that's going to be it um, that's all I wanted to share with you on this one like I say only a short one I just wanted to do that little test um, I was curious myself um, I hope it's helped other people out if if anybody else were curious about it it may have been, may not have been um, but now you know, now I know <laughs> so right I'm going guys, I'm going to get some tea, I'm going to watch um, United Thrash Forest again, so see you in a bit. <laughs>